Write a Python script that searches Google for images and downloads 10 of the results based on the user input query. That, folks, is AI writing code in Python to carry out. Bill is going off and barking. Quiet, Bill. So I just told ChatGPT to write a Python script doing what I wanted it to do. And look at this, it imports the correct libraries. Um, it gives you a query, so that's a query is a user input, enter your search query. So we could say whatever, images, and now let's try it. Okay, so I'm just going to create a new text document in here. We'll call it test1, and I'll rename the extension dot pi. Yep. Open that up in Notepad++. Sorry, the dog was barking, uh, so I had to get the dog in here so I could continue taping. Good pup, Bill. Sorry. So I've copied all the code into this file, test1.py. Chances are I may not have all the libraries because this is a, a brand new PC, but nevertheless, we will try it. I'm going to say Python. Yeah, so it griped at me because you have to make sure that the indentation is proper so that it knows what to do inside of which loop. Getting it. Now we can try running the script. Chizu, because I happen to like Chizus. Theoretically, all images are downloaded. Let's find out. Look at that. AI wrote the code to get me that. So it gave me a whole bunch of beautiful, happy Chizus. And I could tell it to do it in MATLAB, whatever. But this, that's not all that this does. Prepare to have your mind blown. What would it sound like if Robert Plant sang for Metallica. It would sound like, likely sound like a combination of Robert Plant's distinctive bluesy and soulful vocals with Metallica's heavy metal instrumentation. The resulting sound would likely be a unique blend of classic rock and metal elements. What if Jupiter crashed into Pluto. So if Jupiter were to crash into Pluto, the result would be a catastrophic impact with devastating consequences. Jupiter is much bigger than Pluto, so the impact would likely destroy Pluto and potentially cause significant damage to the outer or to the surrounding region of the solar system. It could also result in the creation of a new celestial body or debris field. So now I would ask the same question. What would it be like on Earth if Jupiter crashed into Pluto? Okay, so it's unlikely that the impact would have any direct effects on Earth. However, the collision could potentially alter the gravitational forces within the solar system, which could affect the orbits of other planets, including Earth. It could also potentially release a large amount of energy into the solar system, which could also have indirect effects on the Earth, such as increased radiation levels or changes in the climate. So AI is taking its best guess right there. Uh, maybe we could have it write lyrics. Write... Lyrics about about a drunken great Dane looking for love in a honky tonk. <laughs> in a honky tonk. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> All right, Bill, gonna sit you down for a moment, because then we're gonna try, it, right? All right, then let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm a drunken great Dane. For love in a honky tonk I'm stumbling and slurring But I'm on the prowl I'm a big old goofball In a place that I don't belong But I don't give a hoot I'm here to sing this song Well, I've been down this road before <laughs> Pretty darn good. I've been down this road before. I keep coming back for more. There's something about this place that just makes me feel alive. I'm a big old goofball in a place I don't belong, but I don't give a hoot. I'm here to sing this song. So look at that. So you could have it write out songs. You might even be able to have it write out a, a chord progression. Okay, so it talks just a little bit more factual. Now, a lot of people are really mixing up AI. I've done a lot of coding when it comes to AI. All AI is, is a glorified search engine, essentially. For example, an AI that drives a car surveys the scene, sees the road or whatever. And essentially what it's doing is more or less looking for other roads that kind of match that and knowing sort of what to do in that particular situation or if there's an obstacle in front of it, right? It determines the distance. So a lot of it is that the AI is sort of scouring its memory, if you will. That's why a lot of people are afraid of, are afraid of it becoming sentient. Let's check it out. Are you sentient? 
No, I am not sentient. I am an artificial intelligence program to assist with tasks and answer questions. But I do not have the ability to think, feel, or experience consciousness. This right here could totally make search engines an entire thing of the past. If I were to search for that same code query that I did here, you know what I'm going to get, right? Well, for one, I'm going to get ads. <laughs> Uh, how to download Google Images using Python. Okay, well, maybe, yeah, you get a piece of code, but what if you wanted to do something more specific? Write Python code that removes parts of videos, parts of a video containing silence. Huh, would this work? There's only one way to find out. Okay, so it seems to just add right to the code that it already had written. That's promising. Okay, so it takes it from this jump cuts to this jump cuts jump cuts jump cuts jump cuts jump cuts jump cut which you could watch the rest of the video on my youtube so thank you so much for watching check that out i'll leave a link for you in the description and as a matter of fact i could actually pull that up now it's chat gpt so it's chat.openai.com and you would sign up with your Google credentials and that's how you'd be able to log in. So there you go. Look in the description and uh, thank you for watching.